Welcome to another episode of Tech It. Let me just turn off that moss there. Get rid of that wind. Go away, wind. There we go. Yay, the wind is gone. Okay. So, in the last episode, we, uh, we started playing around with uh, wireless transmitters and receivers and wireless uh, doing a, a volcano pump, pumping lava directly into a geothermal generator to, uh, to kind of help kind of help us out with some stuff. Uh, need to fix that. That's kind of ugly. <laughs> uh, well, if you notice, uh, construction on the factory uh, has, well, I would say it's begun, but it's pretty complete, actually. Uh, finally got my client star all nice and charged. If you take a look at this bag, you'll notice I've used pretty much all of the wood <laughs> that I collected a couple episodes ago. So, uh, the wood in my inventory here is all that's left. I've also been transmuting back and forth between, uh, the normal wood. I say normal. I'm gonna call that normal. The normal wood and the jungle wood. And as you can see, it, uh, has a kind of a nice effect. I'm impressed the way this turned out. Uh, I did forget to do something. I need to get in the vault. Get some of these. I actually need to change out these stairs. Like so. Give me the stairs. So let's take a tour here. This is uh, the main floor. I decided to put in a little bit of glass so we could see the water because I thought it would be really cool. Uh, over here in these two little rooms, there's uh, these are going to be my pipe rooms for my oil and my fuel. Uh, I figure th this room is actually a little smaller than this one. So I'm thinking oil in here in the small room and then fuel in the big room. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not sure. I haven't decided which direction it's going to go. Now, nah, maybe I'll do it the other way around. Maybe I'll put oil in the big room, fuel in the small room, I think. Back here is uh, got a nice work area to uh, put in some machines, get stuff going. Uh, and then over here we have kind of a dock. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of that dirt there, so that way this is kind of a little kind of a gulf for a, I don't know what the proper geographical term is, but, uh, but yeah. So, if we go to the, the upper floor, and the another reason why I mix and match the wood here is uh, keeping in mind that Tekkit is still on Minecraft uh, 125. The stairs are not, they're, these are the only color of stairs you get. In uh, Minecraft 1.3, you can now get a stair for every color. So I, if this was 1.3, I could have a jungle wood colored stair. But since this is 1.25, uh, I'm stuck with the original color. So I decided to mix in wood planks of the original color so it wouldn't look too out of place. Up here, I got kind of a, a little tower thing going. Uh, actually, hold on. Let's go back to this floor. Uh, so this is the second floor uh, windows to see the pipes come up. Uh, and then over here, once again, another work area to get some more machines going. And now if we go up to the towery bit, uh, we've got a way to get onto the roof. So, uh, and the, the roof of the tower is cobblestone, because, you know, we've got some cobblestone th themed buildings already going on, so I figured... I'd have kind of a cobblestone roof. Uh, this is just normal cobblestone blocks, nothing fancy to it yet. We'll get there. So it's not that pretty, but... Eh. <coughs> Doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad. If we continue going upstairs, we actually have kind of a kind of an attic room up here. Yeah, up here. Oh, and this is where these last two stairs are going. There we go. Kind of an attic -y room. I think uh, this is going to be my refinement tower. I'm going to have my oil refinery up here. <coughs> Out of the way. And I'm going to use teleport pipes, as people have suggested I use. So we'll just 
just have oil coming out. I figure each wall, I'll just have a refinery on each wall, so that gives me four refineries. And, uh, uh, yeah, it'll be kind of cool, I think. I think we'll be doing good. Uh, I may actually... I don't know, I, I need to figure out where my solar panels are going to be going. But, enough with the tour. Uh, I'm actually... actually, We're actually here for a reason. I just wanted to kind of show that off. We're not... Uh, I'm not using it yet. Not yet. We'll get there. So let's uh, go into the vault here. Now I need... I've got so much crap in my inventory right now. My inventory's a mess. Don't charge that. Uh, started making diamonds again. So we're up to 56 diamonds, not counting that. So, doing pretty good. Uh, what we're going to be talking about this episode, I think, is going to be getting into some item sorting. Um, now, there's there's two ways to do item sorting. Uh, you can go the build craft way, which we've seen with... Let me open the build craft chest here. Uh, with these diamond transport pipes, you can... You know, if I just, just place one down and take a look at... You know, you put in your items to say, you know, these items go that go to that pipe, you know, etc. etc. So that's the that's the Billcraft way. It just went into my bag. <laughs> See I've got even more junk in here from killing monsters that were interrupting my construction. And uh, down to four food. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so yeah that's the Billcraft way. Or we can be a little smarter, I'd like to say, and do it the red power way. Uh, and Red Power actually has a dedicated sorting machine. Fairly easy to make, just some iron, uh, some red doped wafers, blue alloy ingot, and a filter, which we made in the episode where we blew up our where we blew up our base. So let's go ahead and make a filter. We need cobble, which I have. We need some blue alloy ingots. Some Iron, so we're going to do that. There's a reason why I'm doing this, and I'll explain it once we get the sorting system all hooked up. Uh, what am I doing? I need five iron. And oh, I just need one of those, I believe. We're we're gonna we're gonna take a look at one sorting sorting machine right now. Uh, ideally, you want to make a bunch, maybe. A half a dozen to a dozen, depending on how much you want to sort. Uh, I mean, I usually start off with three or four, but I'm, I'm at least going to make one, just to kind of get things going. Uh, oh yeah, the filter. I need, I need some gold. Okay. Let's get some gold. We also need to get the quarry back up and running. You know, by golly. Okay. Oh, and the red doped wafers. Huh. Oh, and a piston. Uh, I have one. Which I could actually condense if I wanted to. But, yeah. Okay, piston. Some gold... Uh, bread doped wafer and some cobble. There we go. There's a filter, and now pretty much the more advanced form of filter. The sorting machine. Now, if you remember, the filter required a redstone pulse to. Come on, let me through. What? Where? Uh. Oh, holy crap. What? Uh, so there was enough space for, for him to spawn in there. Tricky bastard. 
Okay. Here we go. Let's just clear this out. Clear out this little basement. Okay. Uh, how do we want to do this here? Let's... Let's get rid of that and get rid of that, I guess. Well, no. It's, it's such a hard thing to make your place still decent looking. You know, trying to hide everything. Uh, it's just damned inconvenient. Okay. So we'll go... Bear with me here. Let's get the dirt back. Oop. That's. You know, basically, I want it to end up there. <laughs> but I also can't go directly below it because the tubing has to come out. You know, oops. Like so. Well, now I did it. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, the tubing has to come out. And I think I will actually go that direction. Sure. We need the le awa wire to go this way. Boom! Just enough. Yes. Hopefully. I've heard mixed stories about these these battery boxes here. Hold on, is that actually powering that? Huh, I'm not sure, but let's check. Uh, yes! The sorting machine is now receiving power. Awesome. Now, what we want to do is probably do something about this mess. I know what I'll do. Because uh, I still need access to the sorting machine. I'm going to use one of these extra doors. And just block it off like it's a little maintenance thingy. Uh, boom. Like that. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. I think... Uh, also... Oh no, that can't be there. Okay, anyway. So, now we've got the sorting machine in. We've got it powered. Now we need to work out getting a redstone signal going to it. Sure. Let's, uh, let's go back to the vault. Eat a steak. And we're going to need another timer. <laughs> So, we have smooth stone. Blah, balls. Timer. Oh, it is three wires, but... Ha, <laughs> just had those mixed up. Alright, got our timer. Uh, do I still have the screwdriver? No, I shouldn't need it, but just in case. Okay, get rid of those. Alright, let's go. How's our island looking? Sufficiently lit up, I'd say. Hopefully. Alright. Back to our sorting machine. I hope down here is lit up, actually. I haven't really looked this up too much. Okay. So, sorting machine. Alright, now, let's put... Uh, uh. Let's put the redstone... Actually, I wonder if we can just put the timer right there. Turn it around. No. It's not going to work. This could be a problem. Where does that 
go? Oh, this is the crafting bench. Hmm. Oh dear. Ah. Stuck. Okay. Uh. Actually, this will work. That kind of gives me an idea. One thing that we can do to combat this issue is something I've never shown before. Need my gonna need my saw. And I'm gonna need some of is that the dark wood? Wow. Gonna need some dark wood. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to stick that wire there. And let's hook up the timer. There. There we go. Now you can see it's pulsing. Let's put this to half a second, that's what I like to do. Uh, but for the moment, let's shut it off. Okay. Because I don't want it on right now. Now, to kind of help cover this up, we're going to use our diamond handsaw. Now, you've seen me cut up silicone bools into the uh, silicone wafers. We well, can also cut up normal blocks. So I put a wood plank in there. That'll give me a plank slab. Put the slab back in there. It'll give me a panel. Put the panel back in there. It'll give me covers. If I put the covers in there to the side, that'll give me cover strips. Put the strips back in. I think it gives me corners at that point. And you just get these little bitty, little bitty dots. Now, when you have one of these micro blocks in your hand, you can kind of get kind of a different placing menu. So you can, you have a lot of control over how you place this. So what I'm going to do is place one right there. Voila. So it's back to normal. Can't even tell that it's a hollow block. And if I go down here, uh, there, see, there it is. Doesn't interfere with the with the redstone signal. I can turn that back on, and you'll see it run. Quite handy for hiding wires, and I think it'll also be handy for me to make cotton picking cotton picking platform. Uh, out of it out of the way. Uh, let's see, I did that, did that too high. Yeah, make a, make a platform here. There we go. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little better. No, I've got a bunch of these. Let's just... Let's just get rid of them. <laughs> Not like I'm going to need them anytime soon. You're annoying me. Go away. Okay. So we've got that set up. Now what we need to do is actually sort it. Now if we come into our sorting machine... Uh, oh, dang. This thing ain't getting power at all. What's going on? Yeah, I was afraid of this. This isn't actually... I think what what's happened is I'm getting power from a solar panel and not from the box. We've got to fix that. I had a feeling something was wrong there. So, there. Yeah, from what I've discovered on the red power stuff, it's got to be connecting into it on a side. Or, or uh, it has to be going straight to it. It can't just be going to a block near it or on it, for that matter. It doesn't seem to work. You kind of, you have to be going at such an angle, like that. So now that, we should be getting some, there we go. Now we're talking. Now we're getting power. Uh, probably be a good idea to add some more battery boxes, but we'll get to that. Time's, time's a ticking. So let's get to the actual sorting, the meat of the sorting. You'll come into this menu here, and you have different sorting abilities. I'm not sure what they all are, but the one that you want looks like that, I believe. Yes, the one that you want looks like this. It'll add another little X down there. Now what these are for is 
distinguishing your colors. So let's step out for a moment. Uh, oh no, actually, let's stay in. We need to get all the pipes hooked up and figure out what we're what chests we're gonna sort with this thing. So let's like dig a tunnel. Let's try to get over to the vault. Uh, oh, and let's be careful not to go into some water. Okay. Let's get some torches going. Uh, oh, okay. Now, it appears we're under the vault floor, which is where I want to be. Oh, and there's clay there. Don't want to dig into that. <laughs> okay, now, if we dig up, this is probably the empty... Oh, no. Let's go one more over. That sh this should be the empty spa... Oh. Oops. <laughs> uh, okay. Here's where I want to be. To be here. Hey. Okay. So, now we're in the vault. Now, the reason why I say you want to have multiple sorters is because, obviously, you're going to have a chest room similar to this. You're going to have a vault with hopefully more chests than what I've got. Uh, I usually have building blocks separated into, like, stone, wood, uh, have one for gravel and dirt. I mean, I, d I don't usually throw all of my building blocks into one chest. Uh, I just did really quick for this. So, uh, so yeah, right now what I'm going to do is sort out the ores and ingots, because that's kind of the... It's kind of the main, the main thing. Sort out the ores and ingots. So let's get under those. Oh, uh, there's clay. Could undermine everything. <laughs> now let's start digging up the floor under all the chests. Okay. Also, wouldn't mind going behind them. Uh. Okay. No! I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah. Dang. Clay, come here. You broke my toshes. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Pickaxe. Alright, let's get. Let me get behind them. Like so. Hello. I'll just do that. <laughs> Wars ending guts. Hmm. Because I later, I later want to have the ability to add a a filter to the ore chest for a future project. So I need to make sure I don't get too close. Because uh, a filter would go there, I'd go down up. Uh, yeah, you always want to kind of think ahead and future-proof some of this stuff. Nope, that won't work. Hold on. Let's let's just stay in the dirt and go under like this. Okay. Now let's come up to the sorting machine. Eh. 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 
stuck. There we go. Alright, now we're connected to our sorting machine. Now we need to do the actual sorting. So, what we're gonna do... Uh, well, hold on. Ugh, so much stuff. Hello. Need a <laughs> easy way. Put a trap door here or something. Okay. Now, we need a kind of a anything else chest, if you will. Um, and I guess for the moment, we'll make that the junk chest. Junky chest, junky chest. Is that the junk chest? Okay, yeah. That'll be our unsorted stuff. Uh, get rid of this. Just put that pipe there. And just do like that. Aha! There we go. Yeah, just like that. Okay. Now, what we need is a way to distinguish the tubes from each other. Oh, God. Uh, so what we're going to need is some paint. Now, when you type in paint, you're going to see two different kinds of paint. The paint roll brushes are for industrial craft, for painting uh, electrical wires, fiber optic cable, copper cables, etc., etc., so the wires don't touch. It's to help prevent the wires from touching. The paint buckets and actual paint brushes are part of Red Power, and they're for painting pneumatic tubes. And they have the same effect as keeping pipes from touching each other, but they are also used with item sorting. So what we want to do is make a couple of these. Now, you start off by making a generic paint brush, which is a stick and just a piece of wool. We're going to need three. So we need 30 pieces of wool. Three paint brushes. Now we need an empty paint can, which is 10 plates. And 10 plates is some tin and some iron in an alloy furnace. That gets you four tin plates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need three kinds of paint, so we need three paint cans, which is 21 tin plates in total. And to get to 21, we're going to need six tin and 12 iron. So, six tin and, oh, that's an issue. Ah, okay. This will be a good time to show off the nether ore. This is going to be a long episode, I know it. Ugh. Oh well. We'll, we'll get through this. Alright. Now, nether ore, as people have pointed out, it's usually customary to macerate nether ore. Oh, maybe it'll work this time. Ah, okay. Awesome. It does work. Uh, in multiplayer, there seems to be an issue with the nether gold and the nether iron. Uh, normally, see, you can smelt the nether ores back into their original ore form. So if I put the nether iron ore into a furnace, it would smelt it into an iron ore block, and I would get one for one. Uh, same thing with diamonds. Nether, nether diamonds, I get smelted, get one diamond. Uh, if you put them in the macerator, though, you get a ton, as you can see here. That was six nether ores, and I now have 24. So I got four, is that right? I got four dust per nether ore instead of six, you know, ores, or 12 ores for that matter. But I've noticed in multiplayer, the nether iron and the nether gold doesn't seem to want to macerate. So, but that's, uh, it's nice to know it works in, I just go ahead and cook. It's nice to know that it works in single player. Okay, we just need 12 iron ingots. Then our plan should be complete. That's such a... It's 
very uh very rainy climate out here on this on this island. <laughs> Whoops, need one more. There we go. A little worried about Trogdor, man. Zip. Hope Trogdor is okay. Alright, so we're making our brushes. Come on, a little bit more. And one more. Alright. To a project table. Um, shove some of this junk in there. Just to get it out of the way. <laughs> okay. So, I don't need that either. So now, let us... I will need that screwdriver. Let's get our three paint cans. Boing, boing, boing. Okay. Now we need colors. So, let's see what colors we have open to us. We need three colors. We Let's go in here. Alright. Well, we have blue. Uh, do we need bones? Ah, oh, we have bones. So we can actually make a white... Um, you know, we have green. Okay, so we have blue, white, and green. So let's go in here. Uh, smelt the cactus. Macerate the zibon. Funny story. The EMC of bone meal equals the uh, EMC value... Th three bone meal equals one bone, but if you macerate a bone, you get five bone meal. So you get two for free. That's really kind of a an exploit, really, because obviously industrial craft and equivalent exchange are separate. Bone is a vanilla item, and, you know, equivalent exchange was written in the sense of... Uh, What has happened? Right, I made a paint can. Oh, yes. I forgot. I need the flaxseed. This is what flaxseed is for, guys. You need flaxseed for the paint. Now, we only have two. Uh, they are... Uh, they are... What's the term? Transmutable. They are transmutable, so you can put them in the condenser. Uh, but, there's... An easier way. I've shown off the sickle before, haven't I? Pretty sure I have. I must have must have got rid of it at one point. But I can uh, uh we only need a few more. Come on. Ah, whatever. We'll just condense we'll just condense some. I don't want to tear up the grass. So it costs four. Let's go ahead and use a bone meal. Oops. Okay, now take our empty paint can, take our flax seed, take our bone meal to get us some white paint, our lapis to get us some blue paint, and our cactus green to get us some green paint. Now take the white paint, add a paint brush. That will get us a white paint brush. Take a blue paint, blue paint, there we go, and green. I have a green paintbrush. Now I notice it uh, damaged the paint cans. The paintbrushes will also be damaged as well. But a nice nice way to get around that is the Talisman of Repair from Equivalent Exchange will repair those nicely. Okay, so let's get our let's get our cutters. Let's come down here. Now I'm gonna use white as the catch all. So we'll make that tube white. And you only need to make the end the color. So you'll be I'll be alright with that. Now I've got blue and green. Let's make uh we'll make blue the ingots or blue the ore and green the ingots. Yeah. Now oh can't go this way. <laughs> uh 
Hold on. Let's get... Oh no, I took my ring off. <laughs> Let's go up here. Throw this stuff back in. Whoops. Ah, throw that in the... Throw... Junk into there. Alright, now let's get... Same same thing with the diamond pipe, you're gonna need like one of each ingot. Uh, let's get gold, let's get oops, silver, let's get bronze. Uh, for kicks, we'll go ahead and get these ingots. Find iron. I did that backwards. <laughs> Going to get a red owl ingot as well. There we go. Okay. Now, what did I say ingots were? Green? <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Okay, yeah, ingots are green. Ingots are green. So, let's go into our sorting machine. Uh, oh, no. How did that happen? Actually, how did that happen? What, is, <laughs> what was the purpose of that? That was weird. Okay. Go into our sorting machine. Now, over here, this is your catch-all color. And you can left-click or right-click to go down the chain of colors. I'm going to make that white. Now I'm going to make... Uh, there's only one... Oh, there's two kinds of greens. What is lime green? Oh, okay. Well, I gotta, I'm using dark green, so I'm going to make half of these the green, and then the other half the blue. There we go. Dang quicker to right click half the time. Okay, so now anything I put on these green tubes will sort into the ores chest. Anything I put on these blue tubes will sort to the ingots chest. So I'm gonna go ahead and put everything in here. Gold, silver, bronze, and just like that. Now I'm, I'm leaving these gaps here because I've noticed with the sorting machines as well with the filters, if you only have one item in here, it will only filter out one item at a time. So if like a, if I put a stack of copper ingots into that chest, it'll just spit out one at a time until it depletes it. So what I've started doing is put a full stack in the sorting machine so it will pull a full stack with one rotation. But if you do that, it will only pull a full stack. So if you have less than a full stack, it will not pull it out of the chest. So what I've begun to do is full stacks and single pieces. So if it is full, it'll go ahead and pull the full stack, but if it's not quite full stack, it'll at least pull it one at a time. And just, just kind of keep things smoother. Very handy if you're doing quarries uh, to help with the what to help with the, like cobblestone and stuff because that comes pretty quickly. So now all of our ingots will will go into the ingot chest. As far as the ores go, don't exactly have all of the ores. Let's see Got this. Got some iron. And I don't quite have all the tin. Actually, I'm not sure I really need a full stack of all these ores. It's the ingots that you more so need. So, copper, tin, iron. I'm still missing gold and silver. And I'd also put the nether ores in there and, and whatnot. And so that'll get those sorted. Um, so, and then everything else will go in the in the junk. So, 
what we'll do is we'll turn that on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, well, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> the timer is hitting it. I've also noticed in single player, the timers make a noise, but in multiplayer, they don't. Okay, so let's... Um, let's get all of our stuff here. Just get everything out. And we'll just start chunking it all into here. Yeah. Just throw everything into the chest. Most of this stuff should end up in the junk chest, which is fine. Uh, that's basically your unsorted chest where you can uh, get things sorted out. And we'll also add some more sorting machines later and get things the way they should be. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Can't believe that little, that little timer. All right. So there we go, all that stuff will uh, eventually get pulled out. <laughs> it's quite noisy. But that's okay. Um, anything that's not listed, let me in. Zap, see, there it goes. There goes the ores into the... Crap, ingots are green, ores are blue. Dang it, nope. Give me. Uh, now it's got to wait for the. It's got to wait for the stuff to clear the pipe. Okay, come on. Or did I just freak it out by changing the colors? I think I did. Nope, what's it doing? Did I? What has happened? <sighs> no, it's all... It's all come through. I'm gonna have to fix that now. <laughs> Okay, uh... Crap, am I gonna have to like, replace the items now that I've changed the color? Hold on. What have I done? Well, crap. I've broken it. Well, anyways, that's how to set up a sorting machine. You saw it was working a minute ago. Uh, but we'll uh, we'll continue to work on that system. Uh, setting up one of these red power sorting machines takes a long time. Uh, but we'll, we'll get that figured out. Not sure what has occurred. But that's okay. Uh, we'll, we'll also add some more sorters. And... Uh, you know, get things situated a little better. Oh, well, next time on Tech It, uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we might uh, make our sorting machine. Oh yeah, next time on Tech It, we'll, we'll be con we'll continue to work on the sorting machine. Actually, we'll, we're gonna get to uh, some more advanced things. <laughs> so I'll see you guys next time.